In this series of demos, we'll be covering how Cloudian are innovating around multi-cloud with our Hyperstore object storage platform. Firstly, there is an overview of Cloudian Hyperstore in a multi-cloud environment and how it can be deployed. Then we take a closer look at storage policies and how using replication and erasure coding can help protect your data. Then we explore data movement via tiering and cross-system or cross-region replication to cloud destinations outside of Hyperstore. Finally, we look into how on-prem integration works with a multi-cloud deployment. So, what are some of the obstacles of doing multi-cloud? First, service lock-in. If a service is unique to a provider, such as Azure Blob, this naturally ensures lock-in to that service as you cannot relocate elsewhere without usually performing some heavy development or migration work, both of which are usually complex and costly. Removing vendor lock-in is key to successful cloud maintenance, as without the ability to move workloads easily, you're at the mercy of the provider. With the new generation of cloud standards such as S3, it may appear that these issues disappear. However, Services from one provider are often incompatible with a similar service from another provider. In the context of using an S3 service, the same S3 API calls may lead to differing results. This can be due to S3 compatibility issues or missing feature sets from the underlying platform. API and user experience differences between providers require applications and tools within the DevOps environment to be modified which, again, can lead to increased development costs and operational costs. Having a known, consistent platform across the clouds ensures these differences do not impact an organization's workflows and applications. Finally, understanding how to manage a platform which spans multiple clouds can be a real challenge, as each provider has their own tools for their own systems, but do not incorporate cross-cloud management options without further development work. So. How do you manage a service across multiple clouds? Cloudian's Hyperstore provides an S3 storage platform across on-prem to all the major hyperscalers, AWS, Google, and Azure. With Hyperstore, you can have a single namespace and the same S3 service across all clouds, giving you consistent S3 APIs and the same user experience. This removes the provider lock-in. Hyperstore has the highest compatibility to the S3 API set outside of AWS, including headers and error codes. So if you have an application using S3 from AWS, it's very likely it will be compatible with our Hyperstore S3 object storage. With an S3 service backed by a multi-cloud deployment, you can enable cloud services like backup as a service, archive, storage as a service, deploy data lake solutions levering data locality from different cloud providers, all while having immutable storage via object lock, giving you protection from threats such as ransomware. Some of the other benefits include data locality by distributing data to where it's needed, better data availability, protecting your on-prem data by leveraging the hyperscalers, or even protecting data in a hyperscaler with another hyperscaler. You can save costs by levering cost benefits from each of the clouds. And finally, you get cloud agnostic S3 object storage. With Hyperstore, you get a simple but flexible configuration across clouds. As mentioned earlier with Hyperstore, you get a single namespace across on-prem and all the major hyperscalers, a single common management interface. And with our HyperIQ product, you get a single pane monitoring and analytics platform across clouds. The S3 service is highly flexible, allowing for single or multi-region configurations. And in terms of scale, the smallest cluster starts at just three nodes, and then, as it is a true scale-out solution, can incrementally add nodes to cope with the largest datasets. So these are the multi-cloud demos we have available. First, we have a configuration overview with a hyperstore deployment in the multi-cloud environment. Then we look at storage policies using both replication factor and erasure coding. In the case of moving data outside of Hyperstore to a hyperscaler, we have auto tiering demo. In a multi-region configuration, we also have cross-region replication. And finally, a configuration demo of Hyperstore distributed between both on-prem and the hyperscalers. 
If you're looking to have more details on these capabilities, I encourage you to take a look at these demos.